What is an optimal vitamin D level? This is a question that has not been answered in the scientific or the clinical community. It is uh, difficult to come to an agreement on this topic. But we do think that there are some common trends between the different recommending groups, between the different organizations. And looking at the original research as well as the current recommendations, we at OmegaQuant came to set our optimal target at 30 nanograms per mil as a plasma level of total vitamin D. This 30 nanograms per mil has been uh, shown in many epidemiological studies as a Goldilocks level. So this is where the point where people who have 30 to about 50 micro nanograms per mil tend to have the lowest risk of uh, dying from any cause, lowest risk from dying from, from cancer, lowest risk from dying from cardiovascular disease. So these long chronic diseases, people with these 30 nanograms per mil of vitamin D have lower risk compared to people who have lower levels. So there's also evidence that in pregnancy, women with a level of 30 nanograms per mil are at the lowest risk of preterm birth. So there's a lot of different lines of research that point at this number being your best bang for your buck. You can go higher, but 30 is really where your risk is lowest. And then after that, once you get higher and higher vitamin D levels, the risk doesn't continue to go down. It plateaus. Some, In some cases, it starts to go back up again once you get into the very high vitamin D levels above 100 and 150 nanograms per mil.